Hello everybody and welcome back to season 33 of the Pokemon Cup series. Today we continue World Tour 33 here at Biker Neki in Latvia for the running of the Pokemon the series Sun and Moon Ultra Adventures 375. On the poll today we have the 34 of Daniel Bouchard and Yin Canario starts on the outside. Patrick Smith and Brandon Tharp in row 2, and then we have Derek Hamill, Alexander Rowe in row 3. Wayne Carson, Robert Smith in row 4, and Cassandra Kirker and Logan Bradley round out your top 10. And there's Cody Smart who pulled off the shocking upset at Argentina last race. And he's starting way deep in 29th in the field. We'll see if we'll see another upset here today at Biker Necky. Only 3! Only going to be two races left until only two races left in the right only three races left I should say including this one in the in the regular season so a lot's on the line here today playoff spots potentially oh boy it could come down to the last race to decide who's in the playoffs and who's not 14 trouble to start the race wow and the 20 lap showdown of biker necky is green in the Ultra Adventures 375. Another road course test for these guys. This is the fastest road course they'll take this season though. And the funnest I should say. Because look at how look at how the turns are so. So, so, so small. Can't even find the right word for this. And Yank Canario with a better jump. He takes the lead. Here comes Tharp. Third place. Gets it. So Brandon Tharp's up to third place. And now fourth is Derek Hamill. He's been on a tear lately with these good finishes. Into the S curves, which is another tough part of the track. Everyone's going to go through fine, just fine in those S curves. Twenty-one thirty-four, battle it out for the race lead. Very fast corner, and here comes Bouchard for the lead. And he can't get the grip. He lost grip on that corner. Sure looked like he was going to take that lead, and he wasn't able to do it. Maybe he'll do it right here. Uh-oh. He try to fight back over Yin Canario. Can he do it? He's going to go running here. Going to try to make a pass here for the lead into the curves. He's going to get there. And now here comes with 18 of Brandon Thor. He wants to battle for the lead too. Here we go. Into the S's. And Bouchard able to clear the 21. And the 21 is able to take, and the 18 is able to take second place. Johnny Gardner very slow to start the race. We'll see if it will affect him later on. So Daniel Bouchard is up to the race lead now. As he's trying to beat Brandon Tharp. These guys are all trying to fight for playoff spots here in this season. Ian Canario is trying to get his second win to lock himself in the playoffs. Now the battles have calmed down at this point. Oh, three cars onto the grass. And Yin Canario and Derek Hamill bumper to bumper. Can they get by for third place? Let's see if they do it here. Looks like Hamill a little bit of the edge. Is it going to last, though? Here 
Here we go to third place now as Hamill's trying to hang on for that third spot. Makes contact, can't do it. Oh, three wide battle here in the back. And Patrick Smith. Gonna try to pass his brother Robert and James Richardson as well. So the two Smiths battle for a position. Wow. First time we've seen the two, the two Smiths battle side by side with each other this season. And Patrick's going to get the edge. Little battle here with Cassandra Kirker and James Richardson. And the 13 car went on to Pear Road. There you see some damage from the 13 of Hawkins. Cars have spun, but no caution. Strangely, really weird. No cautions have come out for these wrecks. And Daniel Bouchard has worked his way up to a big lead here at this point, but the lead's going away. The caution has finally come out. The caution flag has waved. It has finally came out on lap five. Let's see why this yellow came out. Just give me a moment as I'm trying to figure out why this yellow came out. Oh wait, we got a crash. Billy Bishop. Right here, taken out by Priya McShane. Bishop spins and that finally brought the yellow out. But at least it's gonna get the field together. And we'll see how wh where this where it goes. Pit stops and wow, Tharps out first. How about that? Incredible. They had pit stops under caution. Tharp went out first. Derek Hamill and James Richardson stay out. Oh, and they're not gonna stay out, in fact. And wow, these guys are separating. I don't know why that's going on. Why are they doing this? That is so weird. They better catch up. They're green. That is so weird. I don't know why it does that on the restart. That's so freaking weird. But here comes Tharp and here comes Bouchard. Hey Bouchard, trying to fight back for the lead. Handful of cars battling out. Two cars battling exactly. Bouchard has the edge. Will he hang on to it? Oh no, he's gonna go down on the ape. A little bit of the grass and Brandon Tharp able to hold on for the lead. Tharp hangs on for the lead. The other pack's trying to catch up. Man, they're getting, they were screwed there. I don't know what happened with them, but the restart just bunched up, just didn't bunch the field up after pit stops, apparently, for whatever reason. And the 18 car hangs on to the lead. The 18 trying to hang on and hold on for the win. And we got a caution. And I believe it's for Gatlin Downey. I think it is. As. Gatlin was spun by Donovan Duthit and a little bit of contact on Eli Bright. That's why the yellow came out for the second time. Hopefully the field will be back together. Oh wow, Canario took third and the Carson took fourth after the 41 hit the wall. Let's see if they're going to go back to pit stops again. It doesn't look like they will. Hopefully the field doesn't go way too fast and slow down among the other drivers in the pack. Ooh, Bouchard's coming in before the green flag. That's so weird. And Brandon Thorpe's going to lead to the green flag. Oh, Thorpe is really slow. And now Wayne Carson goes for the lead. And Carson! Might get it, we'll see. 
Tharp last time he was battling, he was fighting against for the lead. He was trying to hold on. He did hold on. What happens here now? It looks like Carson might try to clear Tharp. He's going to do it this time. Brad, Wayne Carson is in front. So what the leaders um just got separated from the cr other drivers on the at the start. We're still in for an exciting and wonderful race. Robert Smith just took second place. So nice run for these guys as Wayne Carson holds on to the lead here at Biker Necky with 10 to go. There's Raleigh, there is Grayson Acevedo and Co Cody Smart battling for position for 6th place. And they're going to get it. 6th place goes to Smart. Smart move on his part. Get it. Cody Smart trying to win again for the second race in a row. He won in an upset victory at Argentina. No one thought he could win with many damage and going in the back for most of the day. But somehow, some way, with pit stops, able to stay out and decided why not get that lap back, get the win. I don't know if he. I think he was a lap down. He came from a lap down to win in just two laps. That is sensational. That has never been done in the cup before. Going from one lap down to a race win. That is an incredible achievement. What a comeback. That's got to be the best comeback I've ever seen of any race. A lap down to a win in just two laps. That's just incredible. But Wayne Carson's in front with nine to go. Hoping to stay alive and possibly win and probably make his name known and possibly get into the talks of being in the playoffs we still got uh rockingham uh, uk for these cup drivers and then we have this regular season finale at twin ring montegi in japan that will be a huge race nine to go for wayne carson in the one car now alexander rowe has moved up to the second spot Excuse me, um, there's Wayne Carson leading and lap traffic is ahead a little bit. That's Eli Bryant unless of a caution does come out. We've seen cautions come out in crucial times here at, Bi at Biker Naki and they make for some intense finishes. 20 on the pit road already and he's going to come down to the pits. So Philip, so the 20 of Robert's pinning early and he's going to try to play the strategy game. Alvera and Wong also on the pit road at this lap. I'm sure that the leaders will have to come in again and ensure that they make it to the very end. So this is going to be a two pit stop race here at Biker Necky with this being a big road course. Look at Alexander Rowe gaining on Wayne Carson. I'm sure I'm thinking Wayne Carson is going to save a little bit of fuel and then come to pit and maybe make it out. Well, possibly with enough fuel to win the race. Kind of doesn't make sense, but I guess he's just trying to play the strategy game. Here comes Roll for the lead. Can he get it over Carson? Yes, he will. Alexander Roll takes the lead from Carson. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. He's coming down. He, too, is coming down. Okay. So, Carson is going... So, Rose coming down. Carson is not. With seven to go. I'm not sure if this is going to be a good strategy or not for Carson to stay out this long. Probably going to hope for a caution and possibly... Well, if a caution comes out, he has to come to pit under yellow and it won't be good for him. Olvera just came off pit road. And he is, um, yeah, he just came off pit road. And now second is Robert Smith. Wayne Carson trying to hold on and possibly stretch out the tires and fuel as much as he could. 
Because Carson so desperately wants that first win after having that win slip away at Walt Disney World. When he came within one turn of winning and then he hit the wall on the very last lap to lose the race. So here we go, as Carson kind of come down pit road on uh, at this lap. Hey, looks like he will. He's going to come down pit road. So is the 48 and the 7. We'll see if Carson will retain his lead when he comes down pit road. He'll take that line with 6 to go as the leader. We'll see if he can hold on and be the, and continue to lead. Doesn't look like it because Jonathan Fast just went by him. And he looks like he will be your new race leader. We'll see how Wayne Carson does. Comes off Pier Road ahead of Robert Smith. So we'll see how that will play out. John so the new leader is Jonathan Fast. Fast is in front with just six to go. And second place is now Brianna Russell. And Fast hasn't really had a memorable season here this year, but he's trying to win and get in the playoffs possibly. He's been one of the most... Con he was a Final Four driver, by the way, last season. So he's trying to go back to the Final Four and this time become a champion. He won a Daytona 500, so trying to win a championship here in the cup series oh he's not gonna do it this time he has to be on pit these guys going to pit I think Lopez will be the leader no Bush Bouchard and the others come down pit road right now this will be fun to see with four to go Marcus Sachi looks like he's going to be the race leader possibly Caution is out! They took the caution. I think Sachi leads with five to go. So we might have a few more laps left. I'm sure these guys are relieved that the caution did not come out to force overtime. We're going to have still a few more laps left. Caution's out. And here's what happened. Oh, wow, it involves Sachi. How about that? He just took out Hawkins, who took out Bishop, and then took out the double zero of Christian Vargas. You gotta be kidding me. I think he took them out because he knew he was gonna probably leave the race. That is insane. He knew he was gonna possibly lead, and he took those three drivers out. Well, four if you count Hamill getting hits. But I don't think they're saying that Sachi's the leader. No. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I skipped a little bit too ahead of myself. No, Sachi came down pair road now. So, yeah, under caution. Yeah, that's pla. Whatever. Who the leader is now? I think it's got to be the 20. Yes, they're saying the 20 leads the race with three to go. Green flag is in the air. Oh no, Carson has problems. Wayne Carson. Wayne Carson very slow. He goes up in smoke. Oh man, he gets side, goes sideways a bit, but Carson's slow. Oh my goodness. I don't know if he's going to make it to the very end. Oh, man. Can you believe it? Wayne Carson, he was having a good day. He was going to compete for the win. And then the engine just let down on him. That is a heartbreaker for the one car. If he stops in the middle of the track, the caution will be out. It's going to have an overtime finish. And boy, would we be in for a wild race. Looks like he's controlling his speed. It doesn't look like, though, the caution... It doesn't look like, though, he's going to stall on the track. He could, but 
He's not going to probably try to. Two to go for Roberts. Can he hold on for the win? Thorpe in second place. Roberts trying to win again and lock himself in the next round. It looks like Carson's going to make it on speed. He's going to be able to make it in under his own power. But boy, what a tough break for Wayne Carson running so well in the field. And just having his engine blow up all of a sudden, it just crushed his chances of a win. So Roberts trying to hold off teammate Brandon Tharp. Drivers on pit road now. This is going to be very interesting. Is Roberts does even does Roberts even have enough gas to finish the race? We'll see if the we'll see if he can make it. Let's see if Roberts can hold on. He's hoping for a caution. Hoping to force overtime or maybe try to survive the white flag and he's going to try to survive. Here we go to the white flag at Biker Necky with one to go. No overtime finish here today. It's going to be Roberts or Tharp. The two Joe Gibbs cars going to battle for the win. Ooh, what a nice run by Tharp there. He could try to catch his own teammate. Meanwhile, Robert Richardson battles for third place. Justin Roberts trying to win for the second time in season 33 to lock himself in the playoffs. And Brandon Tharp trying to win to be a contender for the playoffs. I'm sure Roberts is not going to let his own teammate get by him, though. Just a few turns left for Justin Roberts. Can he hold off? The 18 car. How about this? 2018 1 2 in the year 2018. That will be something special. Final corners for Justin Roberts. Is he going to pit at this time? It will not happen. And Justin Roberts comes off final corner to win at Biker Necky. We had a last lap crash to end the race. So more fireworks here. But in the end though, the win went to the went to Justin Roberts getting his second win of season 33 and locking him into the playoffs. So Justin Roberts locks himself in the playoffs with his second win of the season at Biker Necky. 2018 goes 1-2 in the year 2018. Can you believe it? Where was this last lap wreck? It did happen on the final lap, so we can confirm that. I think it was Anthony Lopez. And it was Lopez. Oh, wow. How did he get in there? Wow, Lopez just hit the wall. He goes for a spin, and he just went around. Wow. Tough break for Lopez. He hits the wall in the final lap of the race and wrecks out. Doesn't even get to finish it. But the wind went to Justin Roberts. He collects the race win here at Biker Necky. A crazy race with a lot of pit stops. But in the end, Roberts was able to be the one on top. Here are the results on the left of your screen. Car on the left of your screen. Car Carson did blow up his engine and came home 33rd. A tough break for him. And the rest are on the screen as well. We, they all crashed. Hope you enjoyed this race at Biker Necky. It was a lot of fun to do as Justin Roberts wins again. And we'll see you guys next weekend at Rockingham. We'll be in two different versions of Rockingham. We will start with Rockingham, North Carolina. That's where the X and Truck Series races will be held. And then we'll have Rockingham UK continue World Tour 33. And that's when I'll show you the point standings after Rockingham UK to know which driver is in the playoffs, which driver is on the bubble, and which driver has to fight their way in for the playoff spots. So we won't be revealing points until after Rockingham UK.
So I hope you enjoyed the race anyway. We'll see you guys in Rockingham, North Carolina. See you then.